Google has just announced the development of a new AI tool that is going to blow your mind. It's called Lumiere, and it's an AI video model that can generate realistic, diverse, and coherent videos from simple text prompts. So Lumiere is an advanced AI video model that was developed by a team of researchers at Google. It was introduced in a paper that was published on the Archive preprint server on January 24, 2024. Lumiere is a text-to-video diffusion model, which means that it uses a technique called diffusion to generate videos from text. Diffusion is a process that starts with a noisy image and gradually refines it until it matches the desired output. Lumiere uses diffusion to create videos that portray realistic, diverse, and coherent motion, which is a pivotal challenge in video synthesis. It is based on a novel architecture called Space-Time Unit, which generates the entire temporal duration of the video at once through a single pass in the model. This is different from existing video models, which synthesize distant keyframes followed by temporal super-resolution, which can result in inconsistent and unrealistic motion. By using both spatial and temporal down and up sampling, Lumiere can process video creation in multiple space-time scales and generate full frame rate, low-resolution videos. Lumiere is also multimodal, so it can generate videos from text, from images, or from a combination of both. It can also generate videos in different styles using a single reference image or a text prompt. Interestingly, it can even animate specific regions of an image or in-paint missing parts of a video. The model uses the space-time UNet architecture to generate videos from text in a diffusion-based manner. It first encodes the text prompt into a latent vector using a pre-trained text-to-image diffusion model. It then uses the latent vector to condition the diffusion process, which consists of several steps. In each step, Lumiere applies the space-time UNet to the noisy video and produces a slightly less noisy video. It repeats this process until the final video is generated, which matches the text prompt. Now, it can also generate videos from images or from a combination of images and text by using a similar diffusion-based process. First, it encodes the image or the image text pair into a latent vector using a pre-trained text-to-image diffusion model, then uses the latent vector to condition the diffusion process, which consists of several steps. In each step, the model applies the space-time UNet to the noisy video and produces a slightly less noisy video. And again, it repeats this process until the final video is generated which matches the image or the image text pair. Lumiere is an advanced AI video model that's really versatile and powerful. It has a bunch of features that are pretty cool. For instance, with text-to-video synthesis, you can just type in anything like a dog chasing a ball in the park, and the model will create a video out of your description. Then there's image-to-video conversion. Say you have a picture of a flower. Lumiere can make a video where flowers are blooming in Antarctica. It's like taking a still image and giving it life. With stylized generation, it takes an image you upload and uses its style to create videos. For example, upload a sticker, and it makes videos that look like that sticker style. Animating specific regions is another feature. You can upload any image, choose a part of it you want to move, and Lumiere makes a video where just that part is animated. Like, if you have a picture of a lake, you can make just the water move. Video in-painting is about editing parts of a video. Upload a video, choose a part you want to change, and Lumiere does the rest. Like, if you have a video of a girl dancing, you can change just her dress. Now, comparing Lumiere to other AI video models like Runway and Pika Labs, Lumiere actually stands out. It uses this unique space-time UNet architecture, which lets it make a whole video in one go. This is more efficient than other models that need several steps. Lumiere also uses a technique where it starts with a rough image and gradually makes it better until it's just right. This is different from other models that might have issues like blurriness or weird glitches. Lastly, the model is user-friendly and creative. It can make videos from text, images, or both, and in various styles. You can animate parts of an image or fix parts of a video, and you can do all this with just a few clicks or words. This makes Lumiere easier and more fun to use than other models that might need more work from the user. Basically, Lumiere could be a big help in any situation where you need to make a video making the process easier, quicker, and more enjoyable. It could also be a big deal for Google's own stuff, like YouTube, Google Photos, and Google Assistant. Imagine being able to make and upload videos on YouTube just from text or pictures, or tweaking your current videos. Or, with Google Photos, turning your pictures into videos, adding animations, and fixing parts of your photos. And with Google Assistant, you could just ask for a video using your voice, 
or have more fun interactions with videos. But there are some challenges and concerns with Lumiere, especially about ethics and creativity. One big worry is about how real the videos look. Lumiere can make videos that are super realistic, but it can also make fake ones that could trick people. These fake videos, called deep fakes, could be used in bad ways, like spreading lies, ruining reputations, or swaying people's opinions. This is a real risk to how much we can trust what we see and hear. Another concern is about who owns the videos and if they're original. Lumiere makes making videos really easy, but this could mean less challenge and satisfaction in the creative process. It could also mean relying less on human skills and creativity, which might make videos feel less special. All right, that wraps up our video about Lumiere. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.